I think I leave my mark within the community by that's weird. I started in a weird way. <laughs> I think I leave I think my I leave this is just going down there. Hi, my name is Nito Kathkar. I'm a muralist here in Richmond, Virginia. I work here in the city and I work around the country. Coming up in the art community, there were not a lot of women to look up to. There weren't the people that there are now. My generation kind of had to make their way in the street art scene. It is a largely male-dominated world, and there is a lot of setbacks that come to women that a lot of people don't think about. Um, it's important to me to carry that with me as I work, because I feel like when a young artist going into VCU for the first time sees a woman that's experienced doing high quality work, they feel empowered themselves to get out and create and kind of ignore those roadblocks and gatekeeping activities that keep women out of the scene. Being a woman and being a deaf woman comes with a set of challenges. And I think that it's something that a lot of people don't think about and it's part of the gatekeeping within the art world. Some of it is simply, you know, as being a woman, being taken seriously, but as someone with a disability, it's accessibility. So a lot of the art world is about networking and a lot of networking is very difficult in the places where it traditionally happens. So you go to an art gallery and you meet people. If you have something like a hearing disability, that becomes very difficult because you don't understand what's saying, what's being said and things happen like you misunderstand a sentence, you laugh at something in the wrong way, or you say something wrong because you heard it wrong. And that is something that keeps you back in ways that people don't really think about. No one's gonna stop and go, oh, well, she's deaf, that's why, because they don't know, they don't understand what that means. Uh, especially if somebody doesn't present traditionally, like I don't have, my voice has not changed yet. And I present like a hearing person very often, so it's very hard for people to like take a step back, like, oh, okay, well, she did this because she didn't understand what was said. I think I leave my mark by combining activism, social responsibility, and art in a way that affects change within a community. It's my hope to have conversations with a community that are more easily done through imagery than through handing someone something to read. I want to create conversations that make change in the larger Richmond area as I heard.